You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Oh, no. I knew it. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Cheese Luis, and welcome back to the Walking Dead Telltale series. Uh, let's go right into the game. And now we just got to a uh, farm, and I think we need to go help out. Let's see where we need to go. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, what's your plan? How's your son doing? You need any help? What's your plan? Family's plan. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've That's got not a bad plan. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Dolphin? Gotcha you wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Uh, need, any, need help? any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I do. I have At a daughter. You're honest. Lee does Shit. it. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. How's, How's your son, son doing? doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were Katya's? Damn, everyone has we a badass name. Clementine, Katya. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So you get it, and you showed an interest in his family. So has he liked me a little better? Okay, we can go over there, but let's go over here. Let's go exploring a little bit. Why not? I don't think there's any uh, collectibles, right? <clears throat> no, probably not. Go check in with the homie duck. Wait, what? Look at tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. farm bill, though. I'm good. What? <laughs> what up, duck? How you doing, duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. Don't. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> I was about to say, do not move the freaking handle. Hey, Lee. Need a hand for me? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You're probably gonna see a lot of that. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, I did one with the freaking hammer, dude. I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Sean won't forget Dad that. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, yeah, I'm not too close with my family. Oh, he had an ex-wife? Oh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. My glasses are a little That's probably weird. all I need cut for now. Thanks. <clears throat> and Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. If that's gonna shoot me, watch. He said he was, so. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the truck. Oh, it's the same thing. No! 
Lift with your back, Sean. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, <clears throat> heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... What up, Herschel? You need any help? How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride. I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Damn. No wife no anymore. Wife. I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I literally did. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah, why not? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! What happened? Oh no! Oh! Duck, what the heck? Uh, let's go help Duck. He's a little kid, come on. I didn't do anything. Kenny! Wow! Oh no! Oh my god! Shit. But then, if I save this guy, would. Duck would have died? Get out. Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Oh my god. We're still good, Kenny? Choose between two sons. Oh my god. Let's get it. I saved your son, so. Herschel, I wouldn't get too close to him, dude. He's gonna change. <clears throat> oh, we're in the city? Or town? Well, this is as far as we're going. Out of gas? 
Oh man. Don't you friendly trucks run out of gas. Yeah, no. Come on. Oh, was that? We have kids, come on. Kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again. Oh my god. I bet you would. In a minute, come time. <clears throat> They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. Oh my I god. Give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in Ooh. her shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a fucking bitch. One of them is bitten. No, it's not. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Let's knock him the fuck dad, out. It's just a boy. It, it's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Let's reason with him. Calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody. Wait, what? Everyone, chill the fuck Was I supposed to kick his ass? Anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will Jeez. Us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you're turned. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down or else. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? Jeez, what the heck? That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him. Cat. Oh my god. Just worry about duck. Lee. Oh yeah? no, Clementine. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Don't. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. I should have knocked him out. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn Just a boy, dude, chill. Then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? Don't be an uncontrollable man either. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. Hmm. Stop him. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> Oh no! I knew it. She doesn't die, right? Oh my god! Oh 
What? Oh my god, it wasn't going. Okay. Thank you for that. What's her name? Great, thanks. Yeah, that guy. That guy looks like Glenn. I think it is Glenn from the show. Since we got here, please try to get in there behind the counter where the pills are. Oh man, we'll do it somehow. You get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're gonna do it by yourself? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie we can get in a tight spot. Oh, shit. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. What up, Doug? Carly. Carly? Hey, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh man, we gotta get everyone just to chill out. Okay. Can we go talk to people? You're a pretty good shot. <clears throat> well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Uh, that guy saved that you? Guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. My parents' basement, sort of way. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what? What are you working on? Around with there. A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. We can actually fix it. Okay. The basics, I guess. Oh, there's some battery. Batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> wow. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Just batteries. Come on. What up, Doug? Wait, can I find batteries? We should probably go get the dude's medicine before he freaking dies. You are right, Clementine? Wait, wait, wait. Is that the other battery over here? I gotta check. Oh, it's another bar. Oh, you can give her the. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. You took care of Clementine. Yes. Hey there. Hi. 
Oh, it is Glenn. What? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Hey, yeah, it wasn't much. I'll give you the second one. I'll see if I can find something else for you. We should get to know each other. So, um, well, yeah, I'm okay? taking care of her. So. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, good. <laughs> Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Homie does not know how okay. to take care of kids. <laughs> Here, let me give her. Oh, I can't give her the other one. Everything okay? Mm hmm. Okay. Let's go look around. To get back to oh, I found the other battery. We'll do our damnedest. Nice. What up? Oh, let me give Doug the other bar. I mean, they're the kids. Come on. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Yeah, I'm Team Kenny all the way. Can we go give the batteries to the reporter, and then we can go do the medicine. This battery should fit the radio. <clears throat> Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. What? Come on. Have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Okay, turn it on. Nothing. Hmm. She probably put him the wrong way. Yeah, I think she did. No! <laughs> okay, I meant to close the lid. Come on. Okay, now turn it around. Okay, maybe put the volume down just so it doesn't go full blast. Turn it on. There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. Yep. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact. Because we'll get that freaking. You suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. I got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Wow. My producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Jeez. God bless you all. Okay, watch out. <clears throat> Clementine, <laughs> go over there just in case a freaking zombie jumps out. About who? My fa Do I have kids? Maybe I did have kids. That store leads to the back alley. What is that? Oh, nice. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Oh, wow. He's just remembering his family. Find anything? Wait, is that his? Is that him? It's a photo of the family home this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. What? Your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer. 
but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Jeez. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking with her stains for a reason. Oh my god. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Oh, man. That's some deep shit. Don't worry about it. Hey, we're building a little bit of rapport with everyone. So it is my family's business. What? What was that? A cane? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifting with it. This cane huh. protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. The coolest hat, I'm not gonna lie. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Why not? Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawer. Do we actually move it? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Damn, her face is really struggling. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Mm. Oh boy. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Oh boy. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Oh boy. Uh I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Oh boy. I got into some trouble and I don't know if I could <laughs> tell her that it he killed someone. Their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Well, I mean, she was in the room when the reporter was talking to us. Ow. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I know where a uh, little med kit is at. I'll find you a bandage. Over here. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There we go. We can talk to Lee? Them? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? 
Mm. Wait. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Those answers didn't answer the question. What? Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. <laughs> I mean, get the dangerous ones. Of course. Good. They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Oh, the parents. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, All right, let's go. We gotta go get the dude's freaking medicine. Oh, come on. Are they here? Nope. All right, guys. I'm actually gonna end this episode here. Oh boy, it's getting juicy as fuck. <laughs> but next time, we're gonna find the keys to go through there and probably get the medicine for that annoying dude out there. And then we'll see what else happens. But if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.